What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about the way us musicians communicate using the number system. So let's dive into today's video. Cool. So today's video is all about the number system, right? A way for us musicians to communicate a chord progression in the most easy way possible. Whether you're jamming with a friend, doing a studio recording, or even analyzing a song, the number system is a great way how to transpose and see what chords are in the song. You may also have heard in the past videos when I refer to chords as the one chord or the flat three chord or the five chord, right? That's all the number system. So in today's video, we're gonna approach this in two ways. One with triads and identifying the diatonic chords in a major key, right? And then finally, we're gonna look at pretty common chord progressions and see how we can, how do you say it, explain it with the number system. So let's dive into it. So in my opinion, the number system isn't really a tough concept to understand. Like everything, it just takes practice. And the reality is, is you are probably already using this without knowing. Actually, you are using this when you talk about blues. One, four, five. That's a very introductory form into the number system, right? So how can we get to where we're more confident with stuff like this? Well, first things first, let's identify the key. For now, we're gonna be in the key of D major, right? And we know in D major that we have two sharps. D, E, F sharp, our major third degree. G, A, B, C sharp, our major seventh degree, back to our root, right? Next up, we're going to use triads to identify what chords are in the key of D, right? What chords are major and which are minor? So first off, we have our one chord, our D major, two chord, E minor, three chord, F sharp minor, four chord, G major, five chord, A major, sixth chord, B minor, major seventh chord, our C sharp diminished, back to our one major chord, right? So again, one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven diminished, back to one major. And those chord progressions is for really any major key, right? So let's say now we're in A major. We have A major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, right? We now have our six minor, our seven diminished back to our one major, right? So right then and there, we talked about the key, our key signature, and what chord corresponds to each note and if they're major and minor, right? So again, just to recap, one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven diminish back to one major. So with all that being said, let's now dive into chord progressions and why the number system is incredibly important to know. May I add, when practicing the chord progressions to your major scale, like everything, you want to know how to do it all over the fretboard. So if we're still sticking to, let's say, the top three strings, we can play our same chord progression one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, 
seven diminished, one major again. <laughs> cool. So now that we've identified what the number system is and how we can use it, let's put in some real chord progressions into use using the number system. So first up, we have a very common chord progression that I'm sure you all already know, a typical one, four, five. And let's do it in the key of G. We have our one chord, four chord being C, five chord being D, back to our one chord G. And since you all know your triads, right, you should be able to do the same progression anywhere on the fretboard. One, four, five, one. One, four, five, one. Right? Next up, let's take a look at a very common jazz blues turnaround that you can very clearly hear in John Mayer's I'm Gonna Find Another You from his Continuum album. And that is a one, six, two, five, one turnaround in the key of A major. And that'll be one, A major, six, F sharp minor, two, B minor, five, E major, back to one major. Let's say you want to transpose that to the key of C, one, six, two, five, one. One chord being C, sixth chord being A minor, two chord being D minor, five chord being G, back to your one chord. Let's say you want to check out a more recent Mayer tune. Let's check out Shot in the Dark, but specifically the bridge section in the key of D. One, four, six, five, one. Let's say we want to transpose that into the key of A. One, four, six, five, one. One, four, six, five. Right? Let's say now we're in the Grateful Dead world. One, flat seven, four, in the key of B. One, flat seven major, four major, back to one. And there you have, for example, fire in the mountain. Let's transpose that now to the key of G. One, flat seven F, four being C, back to one. And that right there is how you can use the number system, right? Identify what key you're in, what are the chords, right? One, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, etc. And then at that point, you can really transpose it to any key you want in the easiest way possible. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on the benefits and how to use the number system. This is such a great tool to know and to have in your arsenal when playing with other musicians as it's an easy way to communicate the chord progressions, right? So I guess the next question would be, how do you practice this? Well, very frankly, is just getting a good grasp on your major scale, triads, and identifying the chords in whatever key you're in.
right? Whether you're in G major, F, B flat, D, right? Knowing the diatonic chords in that scale. Then when you feel very confident with that, then you could apply it to real world music. Pick your favorite song, pull up the chord progression and analyze it and really see what's happening. Then in that case, if you have to transpose it to D, you know the chords already using the number system. And then finally, use it and you can rule the world. <laughs> so with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.